Simon Cook, thank you for your time. We've just come to the end of a fairly long tour for Hong Kong. You've been in the UAE for just over three weeks, almost four weeks, uh, played 10 matches. Holistically looking back at that period, what are your thoughts about the team's performance and also how it's uh, developed over that time? Um, yeah, first of all, very long tour. Um, it's probably the longest I think the guys have, have been away and, and playing a, a consistent period of cricket and also multi-format cricket, um, which is pretty tough uh, to, to take your skills and, and, and change format over a short period of time. Um, and just kind of reflecting back on, I, I guess, all of the results, uh, you kind of expect to, to lose against the test playing nations, but as long as we were taking positives out, which by and large we, we did, so so that, that was a good thing. Um, and then a convincing I Cup and, and World Cricket League performance against the UAE really dominated um, dominated that um, part of the tour, which was really encouraging. Um, and then, you know, kind of fell away a little bit in the Amman series. Uh, frustrating, I think we the, the word frustrating was used a lot, um, certainly in in those three games, um, because we know how good we can play, and we've showed that in the last two games. Um, against Oman and, um, and Afghanistan, a little bit of a wobble against the, in, the, in the two other games, which unfortunately it cost us the series. But um, there were some encouraging performances in there, which which were good. Um, we've just got to get a little bit more consistent um, at nailing those teams um, that we really should not even let in, into the game. Um, but overall, I think um, a yeah, very positive positive trip um, and actually some a trip where you can look back and say yeah have we have we made a step forward have we improved in certain areas and, and I think we can we can say that we have um, and, and that's a good thing and looking forward we've just got to keep moving forward um, we can't just rest on our on our laurels now certainly the team is incredibly young some of them made their ODI debuts some of them made their first class debuts some made their T20I debuts this type of tour, particularly as you said, multi-format tour, long tour, how important is that for their development and also for the plans for Hong Kong cricket as it starts focusing on the ICC World 2020? Um, yeah, it's, it's very important. Uh, like you say, there's a lot of firsts on this trip, um, a lot of debuts. Uh, you had a young guy, Chris Carter, coming in who was with Jamie Atkinson not available on this trip. Um, you know, he was always going to play it for a huge part on the on the tour, and, and to throw an 18-year-old uh, pretty much straight into international cricket um, is a big ask. And, and to be fair, he did everything that we we asked of him. Um, a huge learning curve, uh, and he will admit that himself. And and I think that's that was probably the the tip of the iceberg. Um, uh, today was was against Afghanistan, and uh, you know having to potentially go in and hit hit three runs off a last over um, in, a, in a pretty hostile environment with lots of Afghan fans and noise and, and pressure uh, on his, in, a, in a T20 international um, would, would have been a pretty tough ask for him. Uh, I think if you'd have sat next to him at that point and asked him how nervous he was, he'd have given you quite a blunt answer. Um, but he's, so someone like that, it's been, it's been a great tour. Uh, he, will, he will make so many strides forward um, and we're looking at guys like himself and Kinship, Shah and even Nina Shah as well who's come on this trip and not played a game. You know those sort of guys you're looking at in the next 12 to 18 months to really kind of try and secure a, a, a full-time place in the side and, and it is up to them to take what they've done here um, on this trip and, and really apply it in domestic cricket back in Hong Kong. Uh, and, and start pushing for, for those places because that's what's going to make Hong Kong stronger going forwards. Well, certainly the next few months in particular are very busy for Hong Kong and very important for the team. So you have the next round of I Cup and World Cricket League Championship against Scotland in January. Then there's the Asia Cup uh, and then there's, of course, the World 2020. So would it be fair to say that this tour was a bit of not quite an experiment, but a good opportunity to try different things, move people around in the batting position, uh, batting positions, and, and have a look at how things might work in those big matches. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, primary function uh, 
on the first part of this tour was, was World Cricket League um, and I Cup and to make sure we, we secured wins there, which we, which we did. Um, and then secondary to that, during this, um, like these, these block of T20s, the five T20s at the end, it was about trying to work out where we're going to go um, with the Asia Cup and, and World T20 uh, coming up, what, what order are we going to look at playing, um, and just give guys a real good run uh, in those certain positions to, to give us information about can they do it, can they not do it, uh, which roles are they, are they really going to be suited to. And, and, you know, I was really pleased coming out of that, those sort of four or five games um, in the T20 format that that we've we've got most positions just about right. Um, there's a couple of tinkerings around that we, we may need to look at, but by and large, I think we're we're pretty much uh, we're pretty much there, and it's given us some really useful information uh, going forwards because now we can really start nailing that down with what we're going to try and practice um, when we get back to Hong Kong, and, and those guys can really start to own those roles um, uh, going in because we only got well, I think we'll only have maybe four or five. T20s before um, we actually get into the tournaments themselves. So there's, there's actually, although in calendar terms, there's quite a long time. Actually, in game time terms, there's, there's not very long at all. Gosh, that's true. So then, coming off this almost one month, what for you as a coach have been the most memorable moments? Gosh, um, like we said earlier, there's lots of firsts in, in on this trip. Um, you know, going all the way back to um, to Baba getting a first first class hundred um, for Hong Kong, and then very shortly afterwards, Tan Tanny got that the, the runs at the, his hundred as well. Um, first first class victory, um, first ODI victory, first ODI hundred. I mean, this you know, it's kind of the list goes on and on and on a, a little bit. Um, and uh, so there's there's actually probably too many really to. To, to mention, um, I think for me the most positive thing has just been the, the the number of guys that have come off this trip, um, having enhanced their their value or their standing within not only this group but but also back in Hong Kong, um, and I hope that they will take that confidence and really start running with it and and understanding that the quality of player that they are is 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 kind of. This is the benchmark of where they are, and it's it's just the, the bottom really, and, and the sky's the, the limit. Where they want to take it is, is up to them, and uh, and it's it, that's the exciting thing for me, and that's the the most pleasing thing out, out of this trip I'll take. Good. Well, congratulations, and thank you very much again. No.